So I made a poll last night about just asking everyone uh, just a quick question on how they feel and what their expectations were for Grand Cross now that the game has been out for two months. Uh, I really want to see what others have thought about this game and I'm just going to talk about this in a video today just the feedback that I've gotten in the comments. So there were over 1.4k uh, votes so I appreciate every single one of you that did uh, you know, give me feedback in this as well so I really appreciate that. Um, and now a lot of people... I'm not sure what they're going to say, but I know a lot of people will say that the game has many flaws and, you know, specific reasons and we'll go into that. Uh, but I, I, I know I won't be able to get to every single comment just because there's 58 comments and I don't want to make the video 30 minutes long. Um, but a lot of people are saying that they met the game met their expectations. And I, for once, I feel like that's where I belong. Honestly, I don't think it exceeds my expectations uh, just because, you know, I've been playing the game since JP had first came out day one. And I knew how that was set up for me. Uh, just knowing that the game was very fun, but there are some times where I just felt like it was like a job to play this game. But uh, I'm going to read other people's comments. So uh, everyone who I do read, I appreciate you for commenting. And, um, you know, hopefully maybe if I do this another time, uh, you know, we can definitely get to a lot of other people's comments. But the first person is Jadis Gaming. He says, if only the game had better rates, it would be flawless. So here's the thing. Everyone else, obviously, they're saying it's a gotcha game. They're like this to a certain extent, yes, but SCS rates are absolute dog trash. Now, here's here's what you have to realize. Normally, games like the gotcha games obviously are going to have terrible rates. We have to realize how free to play this game is. You get over 50 gems weekly if you play PvP, right? If you get to Champions 5 and you get there, you're getting 50 gems every week. As well as every login bonus or every uh, every week you get I believe what like 10 to 12 gems a week from that I, I don't know exactly what numbers plus you get daily daily missions which you can rack up gems as well as playing through your your guild boss praying and stuff like that you get one gem every day so for a whole month you can literally rack up over 200 plus easily if you actually play the game properly and if you actually play the way that you should be playing so I, I can agree that the rates aren't the best, but you have to realize that this game is so free to play that it's it's just it would be unfair if the rates were as high as other games like Dokkan for example, which I think they're getting closer to like seven to ten percent for rates, I believe. I don't remember exactly what numbers. Um, but hey, that's that's just how it is. The game's been out for four four years, you know, five years compared to what you know this game has been. It's been over oh, it's gonna be close to a year for JP. Global's only been out for two months. So you have to realize that gotcha games they're gonna be like that. So rates, I, I feel you on that, but realistically, it's such a free to play game that I can't really say much to that. So, um, you know, the rates aren't as bad compared to other games, but it's just you have to realize like the banner itself. Yeah, the banners are weird, but you have to realize that a lot of the banners, if not most of them, all have a pity banner. So basically, if you don't get, you know, an SSR, that pity banner goes up and then once you get to 100% it's a guaranteed summon which is insane I think that's probably the best thing I've ever seen in a gotcha game so that's that's why the rates are really like weird to talk about but the next one uh, Zach attacks the world I don't mind the grinding and farming for current CC upgrades and limit breaks are challenging but the thing I'm kind of let down on are the summons I mean if anyone spends over 200 to 400 gems on a specific banner and not get the unit that's they want is very unsetting and settling and unfair i think they should make it to where we can grind for the unit or off uh, outfits like how final boss king was i enjoyed that very much let's see the replies i'm sure they'll be added in time in the japanese version for some characters they add like lost female Leotis and blue arthur you're guaranteed to get the hero after a certain amount of draws and so and so on so here's the thing when it comes to farming yeah i can agree with that farming can be very annoying but if you just let the auto the game play on auto you'll be fine uh, CC upgrades, you just have to properly do your uh, your um, gear right. That's pretty much it for that part. Limber breaks, the only thing I have an issue with is the SSR pendants. And I, I think it's just annoying and how you have to get them. And the annoying part is also that it's three SSR pendants per level up. Uh, when you're going from level 70 to level 75, for example, for a limit break. Which is annoying in my opinion. Uh, the summons, like I said, everyone's going to say something about the summons. I think the summons are pretty fair in my opinion the rates if they're just a little bit higher i think that'd be perfect uh but what we're sitting at i think it makes sense for that um but i can agree with the outfits i think that would be pretty cool if they did something different from that uh before what it is now uh i think it is really expensive for buying a lot of the clothing but once the clothings do go on uh you know the gem sales then it's different i guess it, i guess you could use that and then just buy that from your you know pvp gems for example so I feel you on that. I can agree with that, but I still think 
I still think that the gems that you're given is good enough, really. Um, Grand, okay, so let's DJ Fuller. Grand Cross has a lot of positives about it. This game is certainly a breath of fresh air, but my one issue with the game is how much time needs to be invested in order to progress at a reasonable pace. I agree with that. I felt as if I need to keep this game running at all times in order to get somewhere, and that just wasn't something that I could commit to doing. This game has exhausted me, which is incredibly unfortunate because I really do enjoy the gameplay and presentation. My phone has become the Grand Cross <laughs> machine 17 hours a day, so you can... I, I honestly 100% agree with that because it's kind of annoying that you do have to play this game like like it's literally like a job. You have to grind out so much to keep up to date with everyone's uh, everyone's account. PvP is a really big deal as well so if you have to really focus on that then you have to get all your gems, you have to buy the clothing so you can keep up, up, up to date with all that. So yeah, the game itself feels like it's a job because if you're not playing the game, you're falling behind. That's literally what it is. If you miss maybe two, three days of grinding properly, you're getting so far behind. And that's that's what I feel like. This man has 12 likes on it. So I, I agree with that. He has a very good point on that. So DJ, I, I agree with many of that that you said. But I, I honestly, I can't say anything about bad about that. That's actually true. So I'm going to let that one be. Edgar, the game is good, but there's still a lot that they can do to make this game a better experience. It's going to lose its touch soon. So, things that they could change, for example, would be how um, each character's banner works. Uh, because it seems like they're putting the same exact units in the same exact banners, just putting the newest, the newest unit and that's it. Which, I don't have an issue with that. Just, the only thing is, like, I've pulled so many of the same units multiple times that it's, like, useless for me to have that unit. Uh, you can use that for a coin shop, obviously, but if I already have a unit that's 6-6, six, six, I don't want a unit that's going to be, you know, sitting at 6-6 six, six and I have seven more dupes of it. So, they can change up the banners. I think that'd be a good, you know, player experience because, uh, yeah, you can use the same characters for leveling up units, uh, like, for their uh, levels to get that, to get that up. But, really, I don't think that's really good, in my opinion, to... Uh, keep the same banners and just put one new unit in it and that's it i would say like you know equal it out put newer units into the banners and a little bit of older units as well because the game can be balanced pretty well if, if you put the right units in a ba in a banner in my opinion so uh slate definitely one of the best gotcha games in store story absolute addiction but the rates for units could be, be a bit higher spent 900 free to play gems on my main account for escanor nothing Reroll on a new account and got him in the first multi, but after that, all the gems from the campaign, quest and villages till episode 7 got him one time again. So all in all, 1600 plus gems for two Eskinors. Uh Then the comment, I feel you bro. So, yeah, you're not going to be lucky for one account, that's it. And you have to realize, like, no one's going to ever get that lucky to just pull the, uh, you, the unit you're looking for, right? That's never going to be the case. You're going to pull a unit that you didn't think you would ever pull on a different account and you'd be like okay you know that's it uh, i'm gonna go on this new account because it has the unit i want that's not the mentality that you guys should be thinking about you have to realize just because you haven't pulled the main unit that just came out it's not that he's not gonna come back like he's gonna come back at one point so that's the thing you need to know your gems will be good for using later on as well so all the units that you see will have at uh, one point come back like Escanor, for example, Escanor will be back. You'll be able to get him easily. Like, well, not easy. Let me not say that before someone yells at me for that. But you'll have a better chance to get him later on as well. Like, this is not the only time you can pull him. So, uh, don't stress too much when it comes to summoning like that. Yeah, if it took me, it took me only one multi. I'll be honest with you. It took me one multi to pull him. I did a video on it. You guys can check that out if you want. But seriously, like, you're gonna, if you don't pull him on your main account and you get, go into a different account and you pull him, that's just RNG. That's just how the game is. You can't do anything about that. It's just random numbers that randomly pull up and that's it. And that's the unit. So, I agree with you though. Like, yeah, 1600 sucks, but hey, what can you do? Uh, this guy's name, Nero. The gameplay and quality of the game are outstanding. I've never seen anything something like that before on any mobile game but it is really time consuming and with the end of the quarantine i don't think i could play that much anymore and i feel like i'll fall behind and not playing like that sorry for the english on native speaker you're good so someone agrees so i'm gonna be honest with you i agree 100 percent. so the reason why i agree is because when jp was first out i had fallen behind a lot on my account due to school i focused a lot on my schoolwork. i was not able to play the game as fast as possible or as as much as any other any other player right so i fell behind a lot on gear so it did take time to pull back up, but it's more just I felt I felt like it was a job for me as well playing this game. But I'll give the game quality and the game is outstanding part very like true to it. Like I agree with that. 
but I do agree with the time consuming part too. It's just, but it's also how well or how smart you're playing the game as well and what you're focusing on. Uh, if you're playing every week, right? If you're focusing on one thing every week, it's going to be actually easier for you to grind out the game. Like for example, if you focus one week or two weeks for your gear, you would actually be much higher up in the game that you, your whole gear sets would be much better for your whole CC to be better and then your teams will be much better as well. But the only thing I have an issue with is that SSR pendant stuff. That's the only thing I get annoyed by uh, if I don't have enough, for example. And honestly, I'm actually getting very tired from having all of these uh, raids that you have to do just to awaken your units so much. Like that actually annoys me. And the raids only drop like six to eight at most. So it's, that's the only thing I hate it. That, that's the only bad thing about it. Um, but they'll probably they'll probably be easier once they have the costumes that let you get the raids that you specifically want. So that'll that'll definitely help a lot. So your boy N, I was really hyped when the initial launch, but lost interest fast for global. So just went back to JP and still don't regret it. I I mean yeah, JP is obviously the you know better one because of how much farther it is. But global players, you have to realize, like, you just started the game, right? So don't expect anything crazy from them compared to what JP is at right now. JP's been out for almost a year, so don't expect anything too crazy. You have to realize that, that this game is just out for two months so far. So your expectations are expected to be high, and I understand that. But JP is so far ahead that you shouldn't compare anything to what happens with that. We can keep in the back of our minds that JP uh, has obviously already done all this, and global will do it at one point. But it's just when that will happen, you just got to play the game and experience it by yourself. That's really how it is. At least you know that JP is out there and you know what global will have to come. So you know how to save better. That's what you guys need to realize. You can save much better knowing like which units are going to be out and which units to focus on. So that's one thing that I do like that global is obviously just far, super far behind. But they're going to definitely catch up. They're 100% going to catch up and then it's going to be literally back to back to each other. Martin. It has really helped pass the time during these times. Yeah, I guess that's true. You do play this game like it's like a job. Honestly, if you're in quarantine and you're sitting at home and you're watching Netflix, if you're not playing the game, I don't know what you're doing. You're going to fall behind. Just play the game while you're grinding or, or watching a movie. Just keep it on auto. Grind your books. You know, grind your... Uh, you know your ga your gear your chalices all those things man it's it's just auto mode just auto the whole game if you need to uh ted amazing amazingly uh, absolutely amazing didn't get the best rng but coin shop and the amount of stuff you can just grind for through hard work is a uh, hallmark of great game design still pvp gatekeeping is annoying and meta units kind of dominate too hard but such is life I agree with that one coin shop is the best thing i've ever seen in this game just because you get so many good units in the game honestly all the coin shop units are literally one of like if not the best units in the game so having a coin shop that's basically like a pity to you like hey you pulled all these ssrs in one banner we're going to be able to let you use these coins to get all these really amazing units from this coin shop which is fantastic so that's really good for a game like this um, now the other thing is PvP gatekeeping. Yes, that's very annoying. You have to win your two out of three matches in PvP. Um, if you lose one of them, if you win one, you lose one, you lose one again. It's like wow, you have to play PvP to get into your next, uh, you know, Champions Five, for example. The gatekeeping is annoying, but hey, that makes sense. You know, you're you have to push for the next part of it to get into a much higher ranking, right? So you have to get through people that you know are stopping you, which makes sense. I guess I like that in some sense, but the meta meta does make sense you know every unit will have a meta for a couple weeks and then they'll get dropped and then there'll be a whole new meta which makes sense because that's how the game progresses that's how every pvp game should progress so right now yeah escanor is insane he's he is the meta with king and gother right now those two units they help so much that it's crazy so yeah i, I feel you ted i agree with that but i i agree with that absolutely amazing part which is really good for that uh so let's look at Shal shallow d Everything is fine except the way they treat coin shop units. I mean, why do I need to wait two weeks after the end of the coin shop banner? And why is there even a coin shop banner? Hmm. So, I guess it's more just like, hey, realize this. Every two weeks, the coin shop units that you want will get rotated, right? For example. Or, if they go on sale, they do it in every two weeks. If you don't have the coins in one week, how are you going to get both the units that you're looking for? Or how about doing this? Wait for one coin shop unit to be rotated for two weeks, have a new banner that comes out and that's gonna be a really good unit, summon on that banner, pull all the units you want, right? That even if they're dupes, then next week, in the next two weeks, you have your next second uh, unit that you want from the coin shop that goes into discount, and then you have enough coins to buy that. 
that's how you have to look at it. You don't want to look at it like, oh, hey, the the coin shop that I want, the, the units I have, you know, I have all these coins and I can still use them. Think about it this way. Would you rather pay seven? If Would you rather pay for a unit for seven coins or would you rather pay a unit for five coins? I personally rather pay for five coins because that gives me two extra coins for another unit later on. So you have to think of it that way. But I agree with you. I get I get why you're feeling that way because you're not getting the unit that you want uh, you know, at the beginning of when you have your coins. The best gamers, Grand Cross is a quite uh, quite fun game for me and I really do enjoy its gameplay and design but I think it's a very big problem is that to be able to progress at a reasonable pace you need to be playing all day long and it kind of gets boring and it keeps you under a pressure where you know you must farm all the time or else you will fall behind which isn't healthy and it's quite exhausting so unlike other games where I keep playing them because I like the gameplay this game feels like it's forcing you to play aside oh god he read he put a lot um i know most players i know most gp players said it is just a mid game state and you would eventually get through it and reach game end game but it'll be so quite painful of a grind so i feel that um he wrote a lot so best gamers i appreciate this honestly i like this because you wrote a lot but to pretty much put it i know there was a clean campaign thing yet it didn't feel like it was addressing their problems so if they simply gave up compensations and try their best to not have these problems again everything will be fine i mean these problems are so dumb that they could have easily been avoided if they paid more attention so yeah, I'll agree with you on that. I feel you on that. I think the game is a very fun game as well, but it can be very annoying to grind. And honestly, I, that's, that's just something I can't really say too much about because I, I fell behind before too, and it's very annoying to come back up because you feel like you're just so far behind and it's not even worth it. But to put it in your perspective, if you play every week, right, like day by day, if you focus on one thing in the game and you focus it, you know, let's just say Monday you want to focus on grinding your gear. Tuesday you want to focus on grinding your books. If you do that for every week, right, you can actually probably be really far ahead of yourself that you never thought you'd be. And you'll probably be really high up with other players as well. So um, I think I, I feel you on that, but there are some things that you could do that would be uh, that would make it easier. But I see that you said something about those dead periods, which it makes sense. Like not every game is going to have content flowing out like crazy. There has to be a time where they have to plan out things properly as well. So I guess that's that's where they start planning out when it's dead time. So, yeah. Um, Michael, it was hyped. I was hyped. I met the hype. Still, I am not completely vibing with it. I can't really put my finger on it. I will play for now. Uh, yeah. I mean, not everyone's going to enjoy the game like they should, but, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion when it comes to that. Uh, Alan, it would be great if they added something like a ticket to farm items you need instantly, like in DB Legends. Saves a lot of time. We can't keep this game, keep the game on farming 24-7. Skip tickets will be sometime soon. Not soon, but, like, sometime in the near future, uh, for Global, which would be really, really good for that. Um, Grand Cross has certainly been quite spectacular. My only issue is the, game, the time it will and is taken to release uh, unnecessary characters or necessary characters for the stage, in my opinion, of course. So, yeah, I mean, everyone, like I said, it's depending on what you're focusing on, you know, you're going to see your units come out that you really want. If you don't have gems, you know, you're just going to have to wait until he comes back or if he's put into the coin shop, if he's the coin shop unit. But for all those, I mean, that's. I feel you all on that. There's a lot. I think there's a lot more comments, but I can't get to all of them just because the video is getting really long. But I really appreciate everyone who did comment on this. Maybe I will do another expectation video, and I'll try to read your comments as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Um, I feel you all. I think everyone who has said something so far did say that it did meet their expectations in some way, and some did say that like it's an excellent game. But for the ones who said not worth the grind in time, I do feel that. The 14% who said that, I do have a good like feeling on that too just because i know how it is to fall behind and then not being able, not being able to catch back up but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you guys do want to see something more like this if i did read your comment just comment down below again like hey thank you for reading the comment i, I would appreciate that as well um yeah there's just a lot of comments so just you can't make all those for one video but if you guys do want to see more of this or if you guys want to see more discussion videos uh, let me know in the comments below. Drop a like on this video. I, I don't really go for goals, but let's go for like 100 likes for this just to see where we can sit at for that. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's crazy. 1.4k votes. I never thought I'd get that many, really. And 58 comments, is a pre that's pretty good. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys next time.